Hi, I'm Tammy. And I'm Shay. And today we're going to be making DIY fabric pumpkins. Shall we start by just explaining where we got some of the stuff from on our homemade pumpkins? So, all of this fabric is from eBay. eBay. We got it from eBay. You can literally find fabric from anywhere. We've also got fabric from an old cushion. So, any sort of fabric that you can get, we'll leave all sizes. Um, yeah, we just went for the these. crushed velvet look this time because it just thought it just looked nice with our decor, decor yeah, yeah. house. So yeah, and we couldn't, we had to make orange because you know traditional pumpkins orange. Um, so for like the leaves, we literally just pulled them off um, artificial flowers, um, and for for the yeah. middle of this one in particular, we used um, some cupboard knobs. Well, yeah, mm. we used cinnamon recycled. sticks. We recycled as well. We used cinnamon sticks. We got some twigs from the park, and we just literally just plop, well, we glued them in and put a little them. Yeah. And we also for them. these ones, we spray painted them rose gold to get that effect. Um, and and just for like these bits, they're string. But we'll show you more um, when we're actually making it. Um, right, let's get making it. Get onto it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start, we're going to make this sort of size pumpkin to show you today. Um, this is also a medium size, which will be the same way. Um, all sizes will be down below to show you what to cut them at. So this is cut out as a rectangle um, and I've sewn just along the edge so that we've kind of got like a, a sleeve if you fold it. Um, I've done that on the machine, but of course you can hand stitch as well. I was just lazy. Um, so next we're going to have... A needle and cotton and we're just going to go along one of the edges that are open to gather it together this is going to be the bottom of your pumpkin it doesn't need to be perfect just gather it with a needle go right to the other side We're at the other end and we're going to pull it to the end and then what I do is I like to gather that all together and just take my cotton and wrap it round twice. Take your needle, go through that gather if you can, sometimes I have to push it, just come up just to make sure that's tight and then you need to tie it off. I forgot to mention the fabric should be inside out um, and this doing this bit okay so I've cut that off and now we've got like a, a little gathered um, circle there so we're going to turn it the right way and so that's what that's going to look like what you've just signed and that's the bottom of your pumpkin so we're going to open it up and make like a little sack and this is where you're going to add your stuff in you know add as much as you like I'm going to make mine quite plump so just make it I do like to try and make the stuffing inside into like a bit of a donut shape so try and sort of like make a hole in the middle because it just makes it that nice round pumpkin shape we got our stuff in from a, a duvet that we didn't like so we're recycling again you can also buy stuff in I don't think it's that expensive this, this uh, craft can be quite cheap if you've got stuff in the house. Okay. A little bit more. Yep, yeah, I think that's enough for me. So we still need to kind of, don't fill it up too much because we do need an edge because we've got to try and pull that all together so make sure you've got some extra fabric on the top so again I've got my needle and cotton and we're just gonna start gathering the top similar to what we've done at the bottom just go along the top
I need to go all the way around until where we started. This actually looks big. It looks quite big. Okay. Pull it as tight as you can. And already you can see we've got the start of a pumpkin. So again, while you're pulling tight, you need to tie that off so it doesn't come loose. So there we have our little pumpkin shape. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to be using some embroidery um, cotton floss, I think it's called. Um, for this one, we use like a metallic gold rope string, and for like the large one, we use just a, um, a twine, like a twine string. So you can use anything really, as long as it's quite thick because we're going to be pulling on it, so it needs to be a thick, durable sort of material. And we're going to start making our bumps and our pumpkin. So we're just going to wrap it round, pull it tight, you can see there, make a knot, and we've got our first one. We're just going to continue this until we've got the bump. So again, start from the top. I'm going to go in the middle of this. So you know I've got four equal parts. I mean, you could keep it like that, but we do like to have um, extra bumps. So we're going to, again, we're just going to keep cutting it up as if it's like slices of pizza. Go across there. Make sure you hold because as I've done there it's gone a little bit loose so you need to make sure you try and hold as tight as you can as you're doing this um, and one more I think goes through that one yeah just hold your thing there And I would say that is your pumpkin. Really easy, quick to do. Um, what we would do on the top, we've got some like artificial leaves um, that we got from the range, I think. Um, really easy, which you can then cut off. If you've got a glue gun, this is a good time to use it, um, which you can then stick a leaf on. And as we said earlier, we've also like got some twigs that we collected from the park and it literally is just snap it again using a glue gun you can stick that into place and there you have the pumpkin we really hope that you enjoyed watching our video and it was really easy for you to follow it is an easy craft to do and you can even make these with the kids and hopefully you liked it so much that you'll come back next time because we have got loads more ideas that we want to share with you so hopefully we'll see you then Bye. Bye.